Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going over the rise in Bitcoin price over the past week and I'll also be going over the trade that I'm currently in right now on Bitcoin. Uh, so I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this one, it should be good. Uh, and let me explain before I get to where we're, what's happening right now on the decline, let's go over the rise and why this rise happened, okay? You always want to be knowing why the move happened. Okay, so what we could see there was the inverse head and shoulders. In my opinion, this was the number one reason. Uh, obviously, the neckline at around 7,350. We had our left shoulder, okay, the head there, and then we saw the right shoulder come in, okay? The right shoulder, obviously, here at the at the 618 retracement level, just adding in another level of confluence of uh, reasoning to buy this 6,900 level, okay? And uh, for me and the Chart Champions team, we were taking those entries at around 6,950, okay? That was mine, 6,950, waiting for that trend change. Um, you know, that, that was essentially the trigger to take that long, okay? Um, and obviously, since that inverse head and shoulders, so if I just put that back on the chart, since that inverse head and shoulders, we have seen bounces. Uh, I mean, I just have to say that these levels are so nice, so nice, so nice. But as we can see, we saw sort of a, the confluence also there of the weekly. So we had the weekly on the 618, on the head and shoulders, on the on the one hour order block. And obviously you saw the rise, okay? From there we hit the we hit the weekly, decline back into the middle of our channel, okay? Coming up to in the end the top weekly level. So we can say that this this is definitely not hit target because if you were looking at a target you would have been looking more or less to around 8,100. So the inverse head and shoulders target never hit. I actually closed out of my long early, by the way. So I closed out of that long <laughs> way too early, if I'm honest. But nevertheless, did take the long there. But yeah, I closed it out <laughs> and started entering shorts before that. Um, so yeah. <laughs> but obviously, you know, in the end, that inverse head and shoulders was arguably a fake out. You, you are retesting it now. So that sort of the neckline of, of that inverse head and shoulders, you are arguably testing it now. And, and on the weekly level, okay, slightly below it. You're slightly coming through it right now. But you can see that sort of, you know, you can see why you're getting reactions at this level, little rises. And that is just because you're, you know, the old resistance, you're, you're testing a support right now. Okay, so that has explained the rise, why we saw that rise, where exactly we turned around at. You can see the wick onto the weekly level. This is just like amazing. You can see the wick onto the weekly level. From there, you had a little range. I was actually then going short at 7,700. So I've been very content on this whole decline, <laughs> uh, short from 7,700. And so what we can see from there was actually another declining price, another 618, another declining price. And uh, 7,300 was my sort of line in the sand where I, where I took profits off of that 7,700 short. This was uh, obviously, well, I update primarily in the group, as you all know, but I do do tweets here and there. And, um, you know, for me, this, this was what I sort of, identified yesterday you know i was obviously uh, telling everyone yep still in the short still happy to keep that open uh looking for around 7300 for the bounce okay so it's obviously naturally a take profit then for the uh short and uh looking for longs didn't take a long in the end but looking for longs in that region okay what we did get was that bounce off of 7300 but then again from high down to the low hitting the 618 okay so that's uh just like you bounced off of the 618 here you're now rejecting from the 618 here okay um so yeah, for me this was like another, obviously another another short position. Okay, um, so this is uh, coming back over now to the trading account that I do. So this is obviously for the champions live streams. If you are interested, by the way, little plug here. If you want to come over to the chart champions live streams. I will be doing a live stream tonight, which is obviously live trading, where I'm going to be trading all the altcoins, so my favorite altcoins, taking a few requests, uh, as well as uh, continuing on trading Bitcoin here. I think uh, literally the last, well, it must be like the last 10 videos, it feels like, uh, I've been showing you all through this account, where it's just been profits after profits after profits after profits. It's, it's been a nice streak, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I obviously know streaks don't last forever i'm 100 percent going to take a loss i'm fully prepared uh you know tight risk management so this short i'm in right now on the account uh you can see stop loss in profits um yeah so just uh to show you again that's still still ongoing still going with those nice nice profits uh but you can see there that was the reasoning for for basically taking off of this we're looking up at the 618 region i would i waited for the um rejection and uh yeah then we can see obviously that upward sloping channel we are now outside of the channel we back tested the channel under 618 there's your confluence and you're coming down now to weekly support okay so i should probably lock in i would say about 20 percent and then that way you you secure a little bit of profit at, at the lows and then if you carry on lower well no one went as i've said many times no one went broke taking profits you also have this downward sloping channel broken out of you could see the back test around 7261 
Okay, so it, it, it all depends how, how really these next few hours go. Uh, so depending whether I'll, I, I will be looking for a long at this region. So I'm, I'm interested in a long, but I will wait for confirmation before I take the long, if that makes sense. Uh, because if, if we just continue moving down here, I'd be looking next for around 6,900 uh, for the next potential bounce. And obviously, if, if, if these supports just keep getting sliced through like they have, well, you know, naturally, we're going to be trading to much lower levels. But... Uh, you know, I'm, I'm the kind of trader that is more short term, you know, although I may, let's say, have a target for 5,000. Oh, yeah, I'd absolutely trade the bounces on the way down. So when I'm in a short, I'll take profit on the way down and then look to, you know, either trade a bounce long or just take profit and then add on again higher. That's, in my opinion, the best way to trade. But there we go. Uh, so, yeah. That, those, those are the support levels that I'm looking at right now. So literally the one that you're on right now, where I do think it's worth taking 20%. So so for me, this, this yeah, I will have to lock in 20% after this video, to be honest. So you're on that level right now, 7,295. If not hold, you'll be looking down to around, well, first you have to see the back test of this channel, if not 6,900. Uh, if we do manage to hold this, I mean, if we do manage to hold this, not looking the most probable right now, if we're honest, but just for the sake of the video, because I don't know what's going to be happening in two hours time. If we do hold this, then you could be looking to come up and challenge again the weekly at six, 7,629. Um be the sort of the next sort of target the, the high target for me is around 8200 uh about a thousand dollar rise from here but yeah the trends you know you need to see some you need to really see that that volume start coming in which is really not happening right now for the bulls uh so yeah comfortable in the short yeah that, that's all i can say right now um so i hope that you've enjoyed this video i hope that you uh, um appreciate the transparency that i give on my trades and if you want to come across and see me live trading tonight uh, chartchampions.com uh, is where it will be at. Um, so yeah, thank you everybody so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, I would thoroughly appreciate a like down below. And uh, yeah, I just hope you've had a brilliant weekend and smiles all round. Uh, literally, it is pretty much smiles all round in my team uh, because I've been trading this like a uh, well, people hate it when I say this, but I think I've been trading it very well. But uh, I don't want to be too cocky because people will naturally be so offended by that uh, <laughs> so yeah thanks once again everybody have a brilliant weekend and i'll catch you in the next video cheers bye <laughs>